stars and Diego's beer reviews. Oh, all right, Ice Stone Mighty's here too. Got to take a look at something that was sent to us by the Albino Rhino back in, I think, November or December. Quit harassing the cat. Well, if he'd stop harassing the tripod, we wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> take two. <laughs> all right, so Stonehammer Premium Dark Gale is what we're taking a look at tonight. 5% uh, ABV. Uh, not a whole lot written on the bottle. Fire brewed in small batches at the F&M Brewery. I don't know a whole lot more about these guys other than they're in uh, Guelph, Ontario, otherwise known as the home of the robocall. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Not very topical. Yes. How, uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this in a couple years now, but I remember that. I remember those crooks. <laughs> cool. So, plain black cap on the top of it. Oh, the head's starting to get away from us a little bit. Hmm. Hopefully it's still good. Unlike that last one. Alright, well. Yeah. The faster we get to them, the better. So this is classified as a dark ale. I think I'll give you the line share. Sorry, you like those ones. Well, well, I, I, like, I like them too. But. I like dark lagers. Dark ales are fine though. Hmm. So, top just a little typical. Bit here. Sure. Looks nice. Yeah, got a nice so, small. One, one finger ahead here, you probably gave me a lot of your head. Yeah, it's a mm, uh, small head, a little off-white. A little bit of carbonation. Off white head, yeah, a little bit of like a, a tan, almost iced tea appearance in there. Yeah, kind of a dark coppery iced tea sort of thing going on. Copper, yellow, orange. All right, my head's gone. Hmm, I've still got a little. It smells uh, uh, a little oily, actually. A little bit of oil sticking to the sides of that. It smells a little roasty, mm -hmm. a little caramel, kind of a brown sugar. Ooh, that smells mm -hmm. nice. Very brown sugar with like a, like almost a toast, mm. toasted bread kind of quality. Maybe a hint of coffee, like a morning, a little, morning coffee or like something. A, like a dry roast kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. All right, Colombian. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. It's not bad. It's nice and clean, nice and smooth. Yep, clean and smooth. Oh, I'm getting a lot of. Now that it's maybe a little watery, yeah, it's not super heavy. Uh, now that it's no. completely left my mouth, uh, there's a there's kind of a toasted whole wheat aftertaste. Hmm. And uh, along with that little bit of coffee. Yep. You definitely tell that there's the taste of toasted grains they use in these. Yep. Hmm. I mean, it's nothing super original, uh, but it's nothing bad about it either. Nothing super spectacular, but it's definitely tasty. Yeah, it's uh, you could session it's this. A little, it dries out. Yeah, you could definitely session this. This is really nice and light. Almost. Yep. And a, quite a decent taste to it. Imagine I could I could drink several of these. If you're gonna get a picture, taste you better do it quick because it's almost gone. Sure. All right, we'll be right back. And we're back with Stonehammer Dark Ale from the uh, F&M Brewery in Guelph, Ontario. So, what do we think about this one? It was solid. Hmm. It's not really brilliant or, or, or no. special, but it's it's really good. It's tasty. Got a nice aftertaste. Nice and light. Somewhat dry. Um, a great sessionable beer. Not a very uh, creative, like a, in very not a very original beer. No. But it's definitely a tasty beer and a good beer. Yeah, I mean, this would certainly hold up pretty well against a lot of other dark ales. You know, oh, yeah. your, your Keith's or your Rickard's dark. Mm. Oh, this is better than Rickard's dark. That's why I'm saying it would hold up well against it. <laughs> um, of course, Rickard's dark is not even really... It's supposed to be a porter, but it is more like dark ale, I guess. Yeah. It's way better than the dark ale from Keith's. I like the Keith's dark. Oh, whatever. Anyway... I know it's um, terrible, but I like it anyway. <laughs> it's terrible, but I like it anyway. Yeah, okay. Just like the regular Keith's. <laughs> Yeah, everybody likes keys around here. For me. Anyway, I gotta say that I like it, but it's not absolutely spectacular. But I would definitely get this again if I had this available. This is one I could drink regularly. Um, and while the cats are attacking each other over there, yeah, well, as long as they don't attack the tripod again. Yeah, exactly. All right, so what are you gonna give this for? Eh, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter? I was thinking three and a half. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that one. So, that's good. Yeah, that's is good, yeah. That's is good, nine. Yeah. Nine? Nine. 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 Alright. Okay, so that's it for us. Thanks for watching. 
I'm Maxwell Stars Beer Review, special guest Heist Almighty, and Horatio and Diego the Kitties, which are trying to kill themselves. itself. Actually, I think Diego's just rubbing up against the chair at the moment. I'm nope. gonna attack the tripod again. He's totally going for it. Time oh. to cut! Cut! Time to, no. Nope. He's sniffing at the tripod. He's gonna do it. And. Ready to give it a rope? No. Good night, folks. No, I'm watching you now. Alright. Talk to you later, guys. Cheers.